Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today's a kind of a neat trick that I picked up from a book uh, from Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin, who in his book gives credit to Bob Umbless for uh, teaching him this trick. And it all has to do with inserting blank rows in a range of data. So let's take a look. The scenario is you have a large data set and you need to insert a blank row after each line of data. Now if we look at this, we have 427 rows of data, so to sit there and manually insert blank rows could take you forever. So here's the trick, and it's a great one. I hope it's uh, beneficial to you. I'm just going to add another column called number, and I'm going to just number these down one two, three, etc., all the way down through the bottom, and it'll take me down to row 427 and enter those numbers, 1 through 426. I'm going to copy those numbers and then go directly below and paste them. Now, when I go up to the top, all I have to do is click in that numbered column, go to my data tab, and sort that column A to Z and it'll sort 1, 1, 2, 2, etc. And the ones that I had copied below, which are blank rows, will just bring up those blank rows below each one of the rows of data. Now all I have to do is delete that column, and now I've inserted a blank row underneath each one of my rows of data in my data range. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.